Well, Capricorns, welcome to Lucy the Antigua Tarot, my dear friends. Um, my name is Lucy, and thank you for visiting. I am here to do your reading for the month of April 2017. I'm still like in shock of how, of how quickly time is passing. I mean, we're already in April, my goodness. I feel like I just arrived yesterday. So anyway... Um, so here we are, amazing reading. You have three major arcanas. All right, so you, in position number one, you have the star. Very amazing card. To the right of your star, you have position number, in the position number two, you have, um, ah, in Spanish, he's a local. In English, he is called the fool. All right, and then to the left of your star in position number three, you have the hangman. Wow, Capricorns. Okay, position number four, you have the page of wands. And then it's position four, crowning your cross reading. And then in the final position number five, you have the knight of cups. Now, I've been doing three-card readings for a while now, like for the last four months, I think. But now I'm really excited about this new spread that I'm doing in the cross. And so I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's take a look at this. So you're coming in with the star in position one, which is showing where you are at the moment. And, well, you're, you're with the star. And the star brings you a warm feeling and a calm sense uh, or feeling in your heart. Things you have been, to, uh, you know, things for a while were a bit tumultuous, basically. That's what it's saying. But now they are calm and serene. And I am so happy to hear to hear this. That's great, Capricorns. You know, your hopes are blooming like a garden of in springtime, promising multiple possibilities in your life. That's what this card is saying. So with spring coming in, you regain your freedom. With this card, you are now able to bring your dreams and your desires into a state of manifestation, Capricorns. Bliss and inner peace become a reality for bringing benevolence to you and to the world around you. My goodness. And this is like your position number one. This is how you're starting. Where you are right now. You're so lucky, Capricorns. Now, this is a general reading. And I hope that you appreciate the messages. Now, with the star card, it's telling you that it is time for of, it is the time of hope, renewal, and healing. You can now be who you truly are. You are full of trust in the power of your intuition and your inner knowing. Your clarity of vision brings a new purpose to your life. Your clarity this clarity also enables like-minded people to come to you. They will help you to fulfill the commitments in life. So now is the time to dream your dreams and to bring them into form. That's beautiful because your confidence in yourself is blossoming, Capricorns. Wow, that is so positive. It's so, it sounds like such a blessing. Now, at this point in time, you feel connected to yourself and to the rest of the world, the people that are around you, the things that you are doing, the places where you find yourself. Now is the time to, str to trust in this wonderful ability to fulfill your needs, which are allowed by the opportunities presented to you. 
Wow, so a lot of opportunities are coming in for you. And uh, you're going to have this wonderful ability to fulfill your needs because of these opportunities that are being presented to you. Now, with the star, um, the ref you want to reflect with this message, these messages that I've just told you. You know, you want to reflect on the fact that your garden blooms with the promise of multiple possibilities, Capricorns. So the question is, do you know in which direction you want this good fortune to manifest? And that's what you need to kind of ponder on, think about, reflect on, okay, Capricorns? Now over to the right in position number two, you have the full... And uh, with the position number two, it's showing the influences, okay, with this card. The influences that have led you to this moment in time, this moment in time of being the fool. And the fool, you know, it's the time of new beginnings. It's the first step in the journey of self-discovery. It's the number zero, which is not a number. I mean, some people think it is. I, I don't think it is. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Who knows? There's a big debate about it. But anyway, it's the first step in the journey of self-discovery. The fool denotes an um, attitude of trust and innocence, Capricorns. Even a little bit of naivete, being a bit naive with a sense of wonder, Okay, so the fool dares to take risks that others would not even consider because he is fully immersed in the moment and has no concern for consequences. I love, I love that card. I just love that energy. I think it's wonderful, Capricorns. You're so lucky you're getting that card. I wish I would get that card more often. Now, this card shows the demeanor of one who is able to step blindly into the future in a state of perfect uh, and blessed trust. Yeah, how awesome is that? The Fool shows that you need to trust Capricorns, to take a risk, to have a fresh start and leave behind past patterns of thinking or being that have held you back. It's encouraging you to take a leap of faith, a leap of faith, and jump joy joyously into the unknown. I just, I just think that that's such a wonderful message, Capricorns. I really do hope you take heed if you if you need to do so. Um, so it's the influences that have led you to this card, right? At this point in time. What happened that now you're 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 here? You know, it's interesting. I mean, you have this you have the star here. Okay, so there's you've been doing some some intense inner work, good positive inner work because you have the star. <laughs> so now you're you know, you're ready for like new starts or something? I don't know. Very cool. Now, this is a general reading, guys. Now, with the fool you have to reflect on, let me pull the reflection out here. Yeah, where is your, uh, okay, where in your life do you feel the need for a new beginning or for new beginnings? Ponder on that, Capricorns. Reflect on that. Meditate on that. Where in your life do you need, do you feel the need? for a new beginning? Do you feel the need? Where in your life do you feel the need for a new beginning? All right, now in position number three, you have the hangman. My goodness, I mean, these you have these three very powerful cards. I'm not kidding you, they're really amazing. And the position three is all about uh, the direction you are moving in. Okay, the direction you're moving in. And 
The lesson of the hangman is the discovery of a state of inner peace. The discovery of a state of inner peace, which enables you to surrender to even difficult situations. You surrender.、Uh, this card is telling you that the time to show patience is here. You must be patient and try not to force an instant solution to a situation or problem. Capricorns, beautiful card, the Fool. I love, I love. I mean, the Hangman. Another card that I'm just crazy about. I mean, this card is advising you to be prepared, prepared to wait a while until the timing is right for action. I just love that because we we have a tendency of just to jump into action, just like re react. It's telling you not to do that. You know, it's telling you to prepare, to be prepared, and wait, wait a while, until the timing is right for action. What you need to do or think will come to you in due time. The hangman signifies that even in the midst of difficulties, there is a need to let go, to surrender, and listen to what your inner self is telling you. Just step back and just hang out. Do nothing. Just reflect, relax, take your time. There's no rush. Think about it. Think about it before you decide what to do. Now, it would be helpful to pause before acting. Obviously, I just said that. You want to evaluate the facts of your situation and wait for the right for the right solution to present itself, because it will. It will present itself. You're gonna get a lot of messages, but eventually you'll know if you just step back and just reflect and don't say anything, don't do anything, just observe and think and see what your options are. Now, for reflection, this card is saying, asking you that what needs to be let go. What do you need to let go of in order for the right solution to be found? Okay, what do you need to let go of to find the right solution? That's a heavy loaded question there. What do you need to let go in order to find the right solution? And that is your hangman there. Now Capricorn is in position four. Up here, you have、uh, the Page of Wands, and the Four position is talking about how. Let's see how how the people that are around you, be it like a partner or people that you're working with or family, some kind of social situations that you're finding yourself in. How are these people seeing you, and how are they feeling about you? Okay, that's what this card is saying. Okay, that's the position of that card, and you're getting the page of wands. And how so? How are people seeing you? Well, they're seeing you as this page of wands, which signals that you now feel free enough and confident enough enough to be truly yourself. Wow, that's amazing. That's wonderful, Capricorns. Now your fears and insecurities vanish. And the feelings coming in show you that nothing is impossible. Allow yourself to feel optimistic about the future, because all of your needs will be met, Capricorns. Just have that faith. Now, this card can also signify a message or a messenger bringing good news and renewed hope. It could mean a steadfast friend or lover whom you can trust. Because they recognize their own inner power and feel respect for yours. Now you do not need to rely or、uh, on their support at this time because you are aware of your own inner strength. In addition, you are in the process of attracting others to you who are equally strong and independent. So you want to be open to that. 
and not just cling to just one group of people or just hang you know what I'm saying that keep yourself open now um and that's what that's basically what what the page of wands is telling you now the reflection question you want to reflect on is are you now ready to stand in your own power and fully express it okay are you ready to do that in the position number five which is with your knight of cups I mean you know from a page to a night um, it's just like the transition is amazing uh, it's speaking of how you see and feel about the people that are you know the social situations that you may find yourself in right now be they whatever you know partner friends work work uh, relationships you know just people in general this is a general reading it's not specific and with the Knight of Cups, you're, it says that you're now learning to understand your desires. You're learning to understand them. And the good news is that you gladly will act on them. Oh my God, that's so great. So this card may indicate the beginning of a romantic encounter. Okay. Uh, which doesn't surprise me at all. The thing is that you may have, um, you know, no desire to make any commitments at this time. And I don't blame you. You're still, like, exploring yourself. Makes sense. Um, so you need to explore all of your possibilities. And this need in you is very strong at this moment. However, you do want to recognize and integrate the deep emotions you are feeling during this time in regards to whatever it may be or whomever it may be towards you know, don't completely like block yourself out of that you know be open to it now with the king of cup with the knight of cups I'm sorry you begin to realize the two important components of an intimate relationship and it's not that you don't realize it but it's just kind of like maybe because it is cups and he is the knight it's almost like you're just like really really getting a real sense of it you're putting your whole personal um, self into that feeling of of that realization at a very deep emotional level you guys and it is the night remember that and we all know what knights do well, you know, they fight for what they believe in and, you know, they're like heroes and there's just all these great things about knights, right? Brave and courageous, etc. And they're knights for a reason. So you're going to begin realizing the important components to an intimate relationship, the wisdom that comes with it and the sexual aspects of it. Consequently, you know, you're going to be lifting the veils of exploration in this area of your life. It sounds very like, you know, erotic, exotic, right? Remember, though, that your desire may quickly extinguish. Okay, so um, you will need to back it up, you know, this desire if you choose to do that you I mean you're exploring possibilities but I think what it's saying is that um, even though you're exploring it uh, you you know you're going to be meeting all perhaps maybe different kinds of people and be willing to to back up that desire that you have to be close to people and be meeting people and maybe looking for a romantic situation uh, back it up with a with a connection connect with them based on common goals and with the ability to establish really good communication skills between you and you know that other person so this is really important this this card is saying that that is important it denotes a deeper exploration of the self and the need to communicate your desires and wishes clearly capricorns in order to see them fulfilled 
really awesome messages. What a great way to end your reading. The reflection for this card is at, it is asking you what possibilities require further exploration before you commit yourself to the new in your life. So what are what possibilities? What are the many possibilities that you are coming across with all this good stuff coming in require further exploration before you commit yourself to the new in your life. Okay guys, so wow amazing. I love this reading. I hope you loved it. I hope you you got something out of it, even though it's a general reading. You know, thanks for visiting. It's always a pleasure. I'm always glad to to have my English speaking, you know, fans visiting me. I wish I had more, but I'm working really hard. You know, I'm learning, so I just I'm just still working on this. This is the process for me, you know. But um. Uh, I still love doing them, and I hope you really enjoyed them. You guys take really good care. Have a great month of April. Many blessings, and I will see you later. Ciao.